you're gonna make it look like there's a pocket, make a pocket that's so, so high, so, so uncomfortable, but I like the look of them. I feel like puffer coats are kind of for all the cool people, and I'm not that cool. Now, I didn't wanna like it because of how expensive it was, but I'm kind of obsessed. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I am doing the most exciting video ever, a Zara haul. I love filming these, you love watching them, it's a match made in heaven. So, I have like the biggest Zara order ever, like to show you guys. I have one box, I have another box, and then a third box. So yeah, I basically did a massive online order because all of like the Zara sale was on. Um, so everything I've kind of been like eyeing up over autumn winter, I ended up ordering. Um, obviously don't plan on keeping it all. When I make an online order, I order loads and then kind of try it on, knowing that I'll probably won't like everything um, and I'll probably return some bits. So the majority of these items are in the sale. I think there's a few that aren't, um, but I'm gonna be trying everything on for you guys, showing you like how I would style the items, the pricing, the kind of sizes I wear, everything like that. I'll link everything I talk about in the description box in case you did want to go pick anything up yourself um, and if you do do let me know like what you pick up in the comments and this video is very kindly sponsored by shop tagger again you guys know i love shop tagger if you haven't heard of it before and you love online shopping then you need it so it's basically a google chrome plugin that allows you to kind of save items as you're like online shopping to it and then when that item goes on sale you'll get notified um so i used it with all like the items i picked up today i think earlier on in december i kind of went through the zara website and saved everything that i was kind of eyeing up to my shop tagger account and then when they went on sale i just got notified straight away so i could kind of go and buy it instead of having to like scroll through the zara sale website which is a bit of a nightmare everything ends up being out of stock so i'll leave a link in the description box so you guys can go and download it and then when you're shopping and you've found like an item that you like all you need to do is click your little like shop tagger button and then you can choose kind of like what size you want how much money you want off it and um, it also allows you to kind of save it to different like collections and lists so it's a great way to kind of organize your online shopping as well and then you can just save it and when that item goes on sale you'll get a notification um, and they do also have an app as well which you can kind of set up and another one of my favorite features about shop tagger is when you go to check out on a website it will tell you if there's any like live coupon codes that are running at that time so again saves you even more money like i said literally life changer when it comes to online shopping um so yeah i'll leave a link to it in the description box and yeah let's get on with the video now okay so the first item i have is this like gorgeous coat um i've been eyeing this up for like the longest time now um i always try it on like whenever i go into a zara store but i just never ended up getting it because i think it's 95.99 originally which i do think is quite pricey like yeah it's a nice coat but i'm not sure if i'd spend that much on it um but then i saw it went on sale um and i think i picked it up for 69.99 so i've got this in the size large just because i love my kind of jackets and coats to be quite oversized but i will put it on quickly and show you guys what it looks like okay so this is the jacket on and i'm kind of obsessed with it i'm not gonna lie i just think it's such a nice jacket um i have a black aviator jacket and I wear it all the time. So I feel like a white one would make a great addition to my wardrobe. Um, but yeah, it's super cozy and comfy. Um, like I said, I got it in a size large just because I love that kind of like oversized look. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll do a little close up of it so you can kind of see it. On the inside, it's like faux shirling. Um, it just has like the pockets and everything, which I do think look a little bit cheap when they're just like sewn on like that and they're not in the lining. But yeah whatever don't really mind okay so next item i have is this gorgeous like knitted jumper um originally it's 49.99 and i picked it up for 29.99 um i got it in the size small it's just in this like lovely kind of charcoal shade it's quite kind of oversized we'll put it on quickly and show you guys what it looks like um and how i would style it so I've got the jump up on now, um, super comfy and cozy. I have a thing about like jumpers being itchy on me. I absolutely hate it, um, but this one is super soft. The length I feel like is really nice, it kind of covers your bum in the back, which is what I want like jumpers like this to do, because it means that I can wear them with kind of leggings and stuff and I don't feel self-conscious in them. And then this is just one of the ways I would style it. Um, so I've got on this black aviator jacket 
from Boohoo, but it's super old. So I'll try and link a similar one in the description box. Um, and then my bag is from Pickoples. Leggings are Topshop. And then the boots are Zara, and they're like coming up later in this video. Okay, and then next up, I have another knitwear piece in this like khaki, almost like a thick kind of ribbed material pattern thing. Yeah. Um, size wise, I got it in a size small. Price was originally $49.99, um, but I picked it up for $29.99. Okay, so I've got the khaki jumper on now, and I don't actually own like a good khaki knitted jumper. Um, I feel like it would be good to have it in my wardrobe. But styling wise, I think it could look really nice with the like cream aviator jacket if I put this on. Yeah, I think this looks like a really nice outfit. You've got a bit of khaki, a bit of white, a bit of black. All kind of neutral shades, but they go really nice together. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments like how you would style it. I then got a pair of jeans. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a try on with these because basically in jeans in Zara, the size 10 are always too big, the size 8 are always too small. But I really love the look of these jeans. They're just kind of like a simple black skinny jean and um, slightly in like a faded black though. Um, but yeah, I picked them up in a size 8, so it will be questionable whether they actually like fit and I can get them on. If I do a try on, they obviously fit. If I don't, it's because I literally just can't get up my leg. Um, but yeah, they were $19.99, which is such a good price. I don't even think they were on the sale. I think this is like the original price. Um, and like I said, I got them. Oh, no, they said I got them in a size 10. Oh, maybe I did get them in a size 10. They look very small for a size 10, don't they? very small we will see i will try them on for you guys let's hope they fit okay so these are the jeans on and i'm actually surprised by how nice they are like they fit so well um i'm quite tall and i find a lot of jeans that are supposed to be high-waisted aren't actually high-waisted on me because i have quite a long torso but these ones i feel like actually come up to my waist which is amazing. They just come in one leg length, but I'd compare it to like a length 32, um, which I feel like is kind of the average normal jean length. Um, but you could obviously like roll them up if you're a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, they are really nice. I mean, they're a little bit big around my waist at the back. Um, like I said, I'm kind of between an eight and a 10. But if I got an eight, there's no way they would like fit my legs. Um, only thing I will say is the fake pocket situation. Like why would you just not make a pocket? I just don't get it. Like if you're going to make it look like there's a pocket, make a pocket. You know, just yeah, really, really disappoints me. Next item I have is this a really cute little like black kind of mesh organza sleeve bodysuit um again i think this looks really nice just tucked into a pair of jeans um size wise i got it in a size small and price it was 12.99 reduced from 17.99 okay so this is the black bodysuit on i haven't actually done up the bodysuit because i find them a little bit of a faff to be honest um but yeah this is what it looks like size wise i think the small comes up quite small um so if you're like a size six or eight get the small but if you're more of like a size 10 i'd get the medium um but yeah super cute i love this kind of top i love like the puffy sleeves um if i show you it up close sorry about my i literally cannot walk in heels like did you just see my walk it is not elegant um but yeah this is it up close it kind of has like ruching down the center um, but yeah, super cute little like top, great if you're going out for dinner or drinks, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next item. Okay, so next item I have is this gorgeous little like mesh kind of sleeve top. Um, so it has like this black and white polka dot sleeves to it um, and then it's just kind of white in the centre. Um, but I've been loving this style of top recently. I feel like they're called kind of organza tops. Could be wrong there. Size wise, I got it in an extra small price. It was originally $25.99, but I picked it up for $15.99. So I think it's a really good offer. Um, and we're just look really nice paired with jeans. So I will try this on quickly and show you guys what it looks like. So I absolutely love this top. I think it's so, so cute. Um, I've just paired it with some blue jeans, which are from Topshop. These are like my favorite jeans ever. Um, I'll link them down below. Um, and then some heels, which are from Pretty Little Thing and I literally cannot walk in, so if I'm like that the whole time, and that is why, they're so, so high, 
so so uncomfortable but I like the look of them so I've just put them on with this outfit so you can kind of see um but yeah I think it's really really cute especially if you're going out for like dinner or maybe like a date night or something like that um I love the little like sleeves um, I also think it would look really nice in summer with denim shorts instead of jeans. Okay, next up I have this pair of like amazing black boots. Like this kind of thing I wear all the time in winter. Um, they're originally £95.99, so it's definitely on like the pricier side. Um, but in the sale I picked them up for £69.99. So it's not the cheapest, but they are like an amazing pair of boots. Um, and they're real leather, which... I'm not like a massive fan of real leather, like I feel like it's a little bit unnecessary, I'd probably prefer if they were in like faux leather, but I will try them on and see what they look like anyway. I do think they would go with quite a lot um, and they do feel like really good quality. Okay so these are the boots on, um, I've got to admit they're not the most comfortable, like I think they're the kind of boots that you need to wear like a super thick pair of socks with otherwise they just feel like really hard and uncomfortable um price wise they are still a little bit pricey but i do think if you're looking at getting the like doc martin um jaden boots i think that's what they're called i'll put them up on the screen these make like an amazing dupe for them um and are like half the price i think the jaden ones are like 170 180 pounds um but yeah i'm not sure on them you'll have to let me know what you think i'm not sure if they're like too chunky for me um if they look a little bit like weird kind of space booty esque um but yeah this is what they kind of look like from the side okay so next up i have this gorgeous like stony beige color kind of cropped puffer jacket um, now this wasn't in the sale but I think it's $59.99 so I think it's a reasonable price anyway. Um, size wise I got this in the extra small I think yeah because it looked quite oversized um, but I will put it on quickly and show you guys what it looks like. This is what the puffer looks like on and I've actually surprised myself because I really like it. Um, now my usual style is more like classic kind of wool coats. Um, I feel like puffer coats are kind of for all the cool people and I'm not that cool but I've put this on and I feel cool and I feel like it looks good you'll have to let me know in the comments though I could totally be wrong and be looking really weird um, I just think it's super cozy and warm um, it's really really thick and it says something on this label about being good for icy weather uh, TRF heat power advanced warmth for icy weather conditions now I mean I'm not really sure about that but it does feel warm, I am kind of sweating in my room at the moment. Um, but yeah, let me show you it up close. This is what it looks like, I love the shade of it. Um, I think the extra small looks really good on, I feel like it's the right size for me. Um, if I went any bigger, it would be like too oversized, I feel like. I then have this pair of joggers. Um, now these are literally the best joggers ever. I already have them in the black and like they do, um, I think a charcoal gray. Um, but I wanted to pick them up in this like really kind of nice nudie beige shade but they're just so comfy and soft they fit really well they come up nice and high waisted um, I think they're £25.99 they weren't in the sale um, but I think they're a really great purchase anyway and I picked them up in a size small which I feel like is a really nice fit for me um, they do fit quite tight on the legs so they're not like a loose kind of baggy jogger um, but I really like that so yeah, I will put these on quickly and show you guys what they look like. Okay, so these are the joggers on. Um, so they fit quite like fitted and tight, but they're still like super comfortable and kind of stretchy. Um, I feel like the small fits really well. Like I said, I already have them in like the black and the grey, so I knew I was going to love these. Um, but yeah, I just think they're a really nice fit. Um, they go with a lot. You can kind of wear them at home, just super casual. Or you could maybe throw on maybe this coat over the top let me put this on quickly and show you what it looks like with this so yeah i also think it looks really nice with like a cream or white coat on over the top and you kind of go for that like all neutral look um it looks quite like trendy and cool but it's also like super comfortable which is my main priority when it comes to clothing so i got this cream jumper as well which is actually the same as like the charcoal one i showed you earlier um but obviously in cream um just i think they're a really good kind of like basic jumper to have in your wardrobe you can wear them with a lot um again got in a size small originally 50 pounds got it for 29.99 
So this is the cream version of the jumper. Um, again, love the like material of it. Super soft, it's a really nice like chunky knit. And then this is how I'd probably wear it out. Um, so I've just got the same like boots, bag, leggings, um, but I've just chucked on this coat from Zara over the top. Sadly, I think this coat is now sold out. Um, but I'll try and find a similar one and link it down below instead. The next item I picked up is this gorgeous like camel knitted jumper. Now this wasn't in the sale, it was £59.99, so not the cheapest. Um, but it just looked so nice on the website and like really good quality. And it is like super thick, not itchy at all. Um, I've got it in the size small. So yeah, I will put this on and show you what it looks like, but I'm not sure if I will be keeping it just because the price is quite expensive. So it will have to look like 10 out of 10 on if I am gonna keep it. Okay, so this is the camel jumper on. Now, I didn't wanna like it because of how expensive it was, but I'm kind of obsessed. Like, I know I have about five other camel jumpers, but this is a very nice camel jumper, I've got to say. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do now, like if to keep it, if to return it, like what do I do? Let me know in the comments because I need your help because it's such a nice camel jumper, but it's also very expensive for what it is and I do have quite a few other camel jumpers. Um, this is it up close, so it's got like a ribbed kind of look to it and it's got a little like split here and then that's it in the back um, I also feel like it's a really nice length because you can kind of tuck it into things like if you wanted to as well the so next thing I picked up is this gorgeous little mini dress here it's very like 1920s jazz um, but I just fell in love with it on the website um, I think it's originally $29.99 but I picked it up for $19.99 um, and size wise I've got it in the extra small now I am like 5'8 five 5'9 foot five foot and this does look quite like a short dress so I'm interested to see like how short it actually is on me um, but I will try it on now and show you guys what it looks like. Okay so I've just thrown on the dress now with a pair of heels so you can get an idea of like what it looks like. Um, so pros are it's a really cute dress, I feel like it would be good if you ever have like a fancy dress party coming up but you still want to look cute you could definitely put this on and go for like a flapper girl 1920s look. And then the cons of it are the little like tassel phrase of it, um, they molt, so they're actually all over my floor at the moment, um, so that's not ideal. And then second of all, it is quite short in the back, that's kind of what it looks like. And it ties up with just like these little bows on the sleeves, and I thought they were going to be adjustable, um, but they're actually not, which is a bit annoying, because if they were, I could make the dress a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, let me show you it up close. This is kind of what it looks like. So it just has like a straight neckline. Um, and then those are the little like bows, like I said, that you can't actually like undo properly. Okay, congratulations if you've got to this point in the video. Um, it has been like the longest Zara haul ever. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.